all right? So that is why every Wednesday we are going to bring you the weekly Wednesday news, all right? So here's feeding your mind with your anchorman, Matt Sandvik and Wayne Burbine, ladies and gentlemen, the weekly Wednesday news. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Good evening, Matt. Good evening, Wayne. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, tonight's headlines! FDA, pro-lifers, and Mr. Yuck, blamed for overpopulation. <laughs> Rolling Stone fever hits Brazil. Vaccination administered. 325,000 names appear in terrorism database. Al kill you all. Amanda stab you. Aaron Ian Race. And Louise Zephyr. Louise Zephyr. <laughs> Yes. And now with weather, our own weather correspondent. Tony In the first Ryan. five seconds, Tommy Ryan! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's choking! I'm gonna do something! No, we got some quick Please go help him! This wasn't planned at all! <laughs> he he's kill? not gonna make it! He is! He's not like a bum! <laughs> <laughs> He's okay! Uh, thank you, Tommy. It's heroic outside. <laughs> and maybe a little gross. Ooh, uh, today's top stories! Saddam Hussein's latest court tactic, hunger strike. A tactic by Hussein and his co-defendants have started a hunger strike as a protest to how they've been treated in court. Hussein says, they're treating us like genocidal egomaniacs. After the announcement, the judge is quoted as to saying, in between bites of Danish, We'll see you in two weeks. Maybe. <laughs> and another top story. A report published in the American Journal of Medicine may help you to predict your own death. Critics of the test point out that it doesn't account for certain death-inducing factors, such as being a huge fat ass, being really old, sticking your dick in a wolverine, <laughs> hunting with a politician, hunting with a banana, bobbing for shotguns, or stepping on a roller skate while juggling chainsaws next to an open mine shaft full of zombies. <laughs> Perhaps it's not that angry after all. <laughs> that, that hurts a little. It scares me a bit. In news, Tommy Lee has been beaten up by Eminem's posse <laughs> for making fun of Kit Rock. <laughs> You see, usually I try to do something witty right here, but Jesus Christ, I mean, that's like watching a guy get hit in the nuts with a squirrel. <laughs> you just don't make a joke about it, you just tell the story. <laughs> wow. I agree. Matt? I agree, Matt. So, uh, Los Angeles has a new incredible deputy, Lou Ferrigno star of the 70s TV show, The Incredible Hulk, is now a sheriff's deputy in Los Angeles. They've hired him in hopes of saving the city a ton of money. They've already auctioned off the Jaws of Life, and they've stopped requisition of post-its and earplugs. <laughs> uh, and now a reenactment of Lou's first day with Wayne Burfine and Chris Maddock. Why is this driving, man? Hey, you can't park here. You can't park here no more. You can't park here. There's no parking zone. Hey, are you Lou Ferrigno? What? I can't hear you. You're from Lou Ferrigno from the Hulk. Mike, did you talk about my penis? What did you say? What did you say? What? What? No, oh, I don't have my hearing aid done. Thank you, gentlemen. And now, before Chris, you get too far away, uh, here is a section that we've been uh, doing quite a bit lately that seems to be a favorite. It's called Letters to God. This is where we steal children's letters to God and answer Intercept them ourselves. And here with Letters to God is uh, Chris Maddock. Chris Maddock! Oh! Thank, Thank you. God. Thank you. Yes, I intercepted these letters to God and felt that I should answer them myself. All right. This one is from uh, a couple of brothers uh, who live in Invergrove Heights, Chase, eight years old, and Cole, nine years old. <clears throat> Dear God, why do the terrorists hate our freedom? Signed, Chase and Cole. <laughs> Dear Chase and Cole, 
Because of your parents, basically. Uh, you see, you live in Evercrab Heights. Probably in a gated community with a, an indecipherable houses of tan and beige, as far as the eye can see. Secluded from the rest of the world and the suffering that the USA produces in countries like theirs. Do you even know how much a bus fare is, kid? Huh? Do you, even know, do you even know what it's like to have to look for a free clinic? You see, your parents grew up in a free land where anything was possible. And all they did with it was fence themselves in from the rest of the world and use their creativity to make up shitty baby names like Chase and Cole. <laughs> fuck you, fuck your whole family. Go hunting and uh, to the country club, just like uh, you and the rest of old money and your soulless kind do. Love God. <laughs> This next one is from Tammy. Dear God, why can't I learn to rollerblade? Signed, Tammy. <laughs> Dear Tammy, you have no legs. <laughs> Not my fault, talk to your drunk mom. Love God. Okay. <laughs> and one more. Uh, this one's from uh, Susie. Dear God. No, wait, this one isn't from Susie. <laughs> this one's from Jimmy. Dear God. <laughs> My mom said that if I keep masturbating, I'm gonna grow fur on my hands. Is that true? Dear Jimmy, if you're lucky, <laughs> that would feel good. See, it's gonna take a lot of tugging, though. Uh, it's all part of my uh, it's all part of my evolutionary scheme that I developed. Hey, one of my elves told me that you guys were starting to figure that out down there. Sounds good. Well, maybe I won't have to destroy the whole human race with uh, hurricane slash tidal waves. Love God. Thank you. Winners. From God, by Chris Maddow. Thank you. All right. As I'm sure you're all well aware, last week, Satan, I'm sorry, uh, Dick Cheney was dead quail hunting, and he accidentally, <laughs> wink, shot his hunting partner in the face, neck, and chest. So, with our editorial, please welcome our weather correspondent, Tommy Ryan. Good evening. There's part of the story that you may not have known. It happened this week, but it actually goes way back a couple of weeks. I'm going to do a reenactment here uh, to what actually really happened. Dick, played by Matt Sandler. Hello, Dick. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, your, uh, I'm your doctor, and uh, we've got bad news. Uh, you have, uh, you've had multiple heart attacks, and the uh, worst thing possible you now have cancer and you're gonna die in two weeks. But, but, we brought Make-A-Wish, all right? Anything you want, trip to Disney World, uh, you know, Texas, just name it. What do you want, Dick? I wanna kill a man. Turn on the mic. Dick, turn on your mic. <laughs> we, he was holding the mic. What was that, Dick? I'd like to kill a man. Whoa, whoa, Dick. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we could do that. How about we just let you injure one of your good friends while quail hunting? Can I still eat part of his body? Maybe. <laughs> that was how it happened. <laughs> Tommy Ryan, everyone. Uh, Tommy, was that it? I feel like we're missing something. So well, to send you off, we would like to uh, end on a high note. So we're going to do a cheer for all of you guys. Uh, something a little political and spiritual and all around fun. Oh, so, yes. Guys, come Patriotic. on up here. Come on Patriotic. up here. Let's go over to the you guys. The news crew. <laughs> Friend, family, and maybe a Easter card. She would be naked. That's what they. I know. Good night. <laughs>